This is a quick tutorial on dimensional analysis, which is a methodology to convert numbers from one unit to another. You start out with a quantity expressed in your given units, then you multiply by a conversion factor, and you wind up with a quantity in your desired units. Conversion factors are all built off equivalence statements. An example of an equivalence statement is one year equals 365 days or one day equals 24 hours, or one hour equals 3600 seconds. Say somebody asked you to calculate how many seconds are in three and a half hours. The quantity three and a half hours is expressed in our given units, and our desired units are seconds. So what we're trying to do is express the length of time three and a half hours in an equivalent number of seconds. The equivalent statement we are going to use is 1 hour equals 3600 seconds. We begin our calculation by writing down the given 3 and a half hours. If we multiply 3 and a half hours by the proper conversion factor, we will get an answer in seconds. A conversion factor is a quotient that has equivalent quantities in the numerator and denominator that are expressed in different units. Since hours are our given quantity, hours will go in the denominator of our conversion factor. Since seconds are our desired unit, they will go in the numerator of our conversion factor. Properly written, our conversion factor is 3600 seconds over one hour. When you multiply three and a half hours by this conversion factor, the hours cancel, and we are left over with seconds. And so we end up with an answer of 12,600 seconds. You're probably thinking to yourself that this problem is really super easy. And it is. So let's do something harder. To answer the question of how many years in 1 billion seconds, we will need multiple conversion factors. But again, we start out by writing our given number, 1 billion seconds. The first conversion factor we'll multiply by will convert from seconds to hours. Since seconds is our given unit, we need seconds in the denominator of our conversion factor. 3600 seconds equals 1 hour. If we were to stop now, our answer would be seconds to hours. Next, we convert to days by multiplying the conversion factor one day over 24 hours. Note that the quantities in the numerator and denominator of the second conversion factor are equivalent. Our final conversion factor here is to multiply by one year over 365 days. And if you punch that into your calculator, the answer it will spit out at you is 31.7 zero nine seven nine one nine and on and on and on so by the time you're 32 years old you're already over a billion seconds of course the unit of our answer is in years